Hello everybody, Ryan Schramm. I hope you're all staying safe and staying dry. It's Thursday and it is raining pretty good out there. We're, uh, we're still working from home. I know as many of you are and uh, trying to stay safe and healthy. So I wish you all my best. I wanted to cover a really important topic. I've been getting a lot of questions on this for the last week or two. And uh, it's regarding home mortgages. Uh, many of us have a mortgage and the question has been, can I receive forbearance? So I'd like to just quickly define the difference on, on forbearance. I, many people that have asked have wondered if that money will be uh, forgiven or granted, if it's, if it's going to be free money. And uh, the answer is no. Forbearance is not forgiveness. So please keep that in mind uh, while, we, while we discuss this. And what's happened is the government has allocated a stimulus package. It's called the CARES Act, and it's been put into law. With respect to mortgages, the CARES Act says that for government-backed mortgages, a borrower can receive up to 12 months of forbearance. So who dictates how the forbearance is allocated? That's going to be the bank, the bank and the servicer that owns your mortgage. So there's three ways forbearance can be received, and each way is dictated by, by the bank. So us, the borrower, we don't have an option, but I'm seeing three, forbearance given in three different ways. The first is a borrower may receive forbearance for up to a certain amount of time. Let's use three months, for example. The mortgage will not be late if not paid. It will not accrue additional interest if not paid, and it will not be owed back for, in this example, three months. When the three months of forbearance is up, the entire backed payments will be due in one lump sum in a balloon payment. So be very careful with this, um, as it may or may not be helpful to many borrowers who could potentially not realize uh, their income or get their income back for, for a longer period of time than just three months. Um, option two we're seeing being offered by banks is forbearance may be received in the form of a secondary mortgage tacked on to the back of the original mortgage. So say you've uh, received uh, $1,000 a month in forbearance for three months for a total of $3,000 and you have 100 months left on your mortgage. Uh, a lender may decide to go ahead and tack those three months that have been uh, forbeared and uh, add it on to a total of 103 months. So that's a pretty, that's, that's something that would be very helpful, I can imagine, for someone who has you know, potentially been furloughed or lost their job and they just need time to get back on their feet. So that's an interesting option. And then finally, the third option we're seeing is that similar to when you sign up and you buy a house and you, have a, and you get a mortgage, you can decide whether the taxes and the insurance will be paid each month in an escrow account. Um, many people sign up for that. The third option is very similar to that. Uh, a lender or servicer might say, we'll go ahead and issue you three months of forbearance and when you're back on your feet, we will start to tack on a portion of, of what was not paid in, in the form of a portion each month assigned to your mortgage. And that how much you pay and over how many months will be dictated by the lender. So that's what we're seeing. And I, I've been studying this um, and trying to, to learn as much information as I can to bring it back to you guys. So if you find yourself needing help right now on, on figuring out what your options are, please email me back. I can send you some additional links and videos that I have here um, on my phone. I can email them to you and we can figure this out together. I'm, I'm happy to be a resource to you all. And again, just hope everyone is doing well. And I look forward to hearing from you all very soon. Take care.